Well guys, as rebuilds tend to do on this channel, they've taken another turn. That's right. We got a camper with a hole in the roof. And Lance over there decided that the next rebuild should be a camper with some minor damage. All right, buddy, give him the rundown. Well, I put a bid on in on this thing just to test to see if I was even eligible to bid. On Copart, you can like press the th you know press the button and it actually will say like you don't have the right license or you do have the right license. I didn't think I had the right license, so I just plugged a bid in, hit the enter button, and I ended up winning this thing. Um, so now I have a camper, but who knows? Maybe we'll go camping with the family or something, but it's got a good size hole. Looks like it was in a permanent site from what we can tell. All the um, like algae and, you know, growth on it, moss growth, um, makes it look like it was in a permanent site that maybe a tree just recently fell down on top of it. So we're gonna start tearing it apart and see what we're getting into. I'm thinking it might not be that bad to fix. And the good part is I think that we can remodel the master bedroom to be kind of like up to date. Like we actually were talking about doing like ship lap and some, you know, some chip and Joanna gain stuff in there. This is a 2012 Passport Ultralight, 32 footer right there, two doors, two slides. We'll show you the whole deal here coming up. Going inside. Got the master bedroom. Now, the weird thing is, is the master in this, and I think it's because it's an ultralight, doesn't have the actual doors, uh, like on either side. It's just curtains, unfortunately. We do have this sick TV. Let's see which side. Hold on. Oh. So that spins around if you need it to. Mirror on one side, TV on the other. And yeah, we think a tree probably fell on top of it. Got all the controls here. And I'd actually, it looks bad, but I don't think it'll be that bad for a rebuild. But we got a slide over here. Everything seems to work so far. And then this is a bunk. So we got double bunks here, couch that sleeps two, and another bunk up there. So you can actually sleep five back here, two up front. I assume this goes down into... Table goes down, I'm sure, into a bed. Goes into two, yeah. Two, and this probably goes two? Yep. Okay. So what yep. is the sleep, 12? This is 11. 11, okay. Yeah. Um, pretty loaded up, though. I'm going to show you some of the, the fun features here. The coolest thing is the automatic awnings. I have always fought with the camper awnings. So here we go. Yeah, if you want to see them from outside. So there we go. So beautiful little place here in the shade. And yeah, the graphics and stuff like that are messed up. Everything else seems to be in decent shape other than it just needs a really good cleaning, a really good pressure wash down and some updates because I think it's just been sitting. So we're gonna start tearing this thing apart, I guess. I don't know where this is going to fit in in the channel, guys. I felt like I should show you because it's going to be sitting sitting in the background. I, like, I can't get both of us in here. There, if I turn it sideways. Uh, yes, yeah, crouch down. Um, this is going to be somewhere we're going to show you the rebuild on it. I mean, obviously, today we are going to start the process. And then I'll probably just do some little updates here and there of where we're at with it in, in other videos. So, yeah, got a camper. The uh, interior out first, I think just so we kind of have a clean slate and know what we're looking at. But I think the way we're going to actually do it is we'll pull this screw off the bottom here. I think that holds down this plastic strip. Then this plastic strip can peel out, and I think there's screws the whole length of it. So I think we'll remove it on both sides. And the same thing with the rain gutter. We'll take it back just to wherever it's torn or messed up, you know, a little bit and kind of pull it away from the, the uh, actual camper and see what we got underneath as far as good wood or bad wood or whatever. But as far as the outside goes, um, this stuff here is a, a type of fiberglass called Phylon. It's like a really thin, almost like uh, aluminum, you know, like a coil stock type thickness, but it's, uh, it's got no strength. So what they do is they actually lay Luan underneath, like, like some underlayment type stuff, and then curve that up around, and then you get adhesive and spray it, then lay the fiberglass on top of it, and then to finish it off, you screw these corners on and, and silicone, or not silicone, actually they said never use silicone. It's some sealant, you know, RV sealant. I, I think what we'll do is, 
um, keep the diamond plate area if that's still good and in, in good shape. But we'll just kind of rebuild the whole front curvature here. Yeah. Have you actually looked in here? See what? It, uh, see what we got as far as water damage? Yeah. I have not, but it doesn't. I mean, it's wet. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel soft. Yeah. Um, so, and it's not too bad up above that I can tell. I mean, there's a yeah. little bit of mold starting, but nothing rotted it. I can tell. Yeah. I think we're all right. It must not have been open for a terribly long time. Right yeah. All right, let's go inside. Remove all that stuff, and then we'll go from there. It comes in pretty far. Yeah, there's not much space once slides are in. So cabinets, is that what you want to That's do? That's what I think. I think cabinets next, and then we'll try to take off some like wall coverings and okay. stuff like that. Like probably this seam here on both sides. Okay. Yeah. There's. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, sorry about the harsh light and the sort of tight angles, but we're working a pretty small space right here. So we got a little bit more knowledge here. Uh, this is our first time ever doing a camper. So we're gonna learn as we go here. What I did learn that I thought was interesting is they sheet this whole front section separately and then put it, install it onto the side walls here because this runs underneath here. So it was sheeted beforehand. So I don't know, maybe we should even do the outside section first and if we can peel this whole thing off, the whole front end off, yeah. That would be alright, I think. Yeah. Maybe so, step outside. Okay. And just see what it's assembled like. If it's got screws and we can just take this section kind of off as yeah. one piece, like it looks like it was put on. Um wouldn't yeah. be that would be awesome actually. Actually wouldn't so, be so bad. um and then we're deciding if we want to take all this out or just like cut around the edges there. My vote is to just cut around the edges because I just don't think we need to get down into here, but Lance is thinking that we should take the whole thing out so because he likes to do more work so i don't he no. he likes to work harder not smarter is that what you always say mm -mm. not me all right let's go outside We're now almost ready to pull the whole front end off here. You can see some of the framework. We got wires running down here. Lance is just removing them. Down there, there's a connection to the batteries. There was a couple up there that we cut just to all the lights and everything. Got two screws, big ones here going into the like main frame area. There was screws that ran. Oh, I see one that we missed right there too. All right, I thought that was, yeah, we missed a couple. Uh, that just ran up to there. And everything else is welded, but I think that's the only, all the screws up there are the only thing that actually attaches it to the rest of the camper. And I uh, had some water damage here, but nothing, nothing that I would consider to be terrible. I mean, kind of what we would have expected after sitting out for, I don't know how long it was sitting out at the auction, but I would assume for at least a month or two, it's been by itself. So out in, 
getting completely rained in, but not too bad, and it's the stuff we would replace anyways. No, we're good. That one's good. All right, I think we'll hold it there for now until you want to come out and hold with me. Oh, crawl space. I got everything I could reach. Oh. You, have the, you have the gun still? Yeah. There is the front end of a camper. Now, I think what the best test would be, let's hook her up. Let's hook her up to the truck. Yeah. See what happens when you take it down the road at about 80. A lot of wind. <laughs> I think all the sides would blow out. <laughs> they might, actually. <laughs> It'd be pretty great. So, all the metal framework here, we actually luckily just got a new welding guy that does aluminum. So, we'll probably take this to him, have him just basically remake this whole frame so it's as good as new. Maybe even a couple of those pieces up there. And then it's just resheeting and recovering. What now? Now, what do you plan to do on the outside? Like, what are we. Because I don't know that we have the fiberglass stuff that you were talking about. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm just buying it. Just buying it. And then it comes in sheets or rolls or something. And you glue it on. It's eight and a half feet wide by whatever length you need. Okay. It's like when they do one of these sides, they just do all the four by eight sheets of Luan, paste the whole thing, and then they roll the sheets the stuff whole out. It. That's how you get one whole smooth side. Okay. All right. Did you watch some videos? Yep. <laughs> and here's a little tour of inside looking out. We already. Moved around, we got the slides in, which the mechanism to make that happen is pretty cool. Um, and we're gonna actually clean up outside a little bit here and then go on a drive, park us up at the top of the driveway. Now the reason Lance bought this camper wasn't so much as a rebuild is that his wife was like, I would like a few more things in the driveway that are slightly more redneck than the cars that you currently have. Yeah. Um, so like, the Ford Fiesta without a front end, Cadillac without a front end, the truck with the flat tires, the truck that's not registered, Cadillac without the front end, and the 300 that actually we just got completely rebuilt. I showed that when we first got it delivered. We didn't do any, I didn't video any of the rebuild, but it's actually pretty much back together and done. And I almost forgot to mention the truck frame that's just parts out here. So she thought that this would complement the property nicely, the old Passport Ultralight. Before we hook up, let me grab this flap here. I don't wanna, want everything secure. All right, I think we're ready for the road trip. Did you lock it? Yeah, I locked it. Okay. Because I've seen them flapping down the road. You don't want anything to rip off. Oh, not latch. I want to make sure you actually locked oh, it. Oh, locked it. Yeah, so somebody really steals anything. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, forgot that. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a camera in there. You can just. Oh, got to go up. Stop. Yep. Oh. Your, one of your top marker lights up front's out. Out the bulb? Yeah. Uh, hopefully you don't get pulled over. Get caught. <laughs> Sorry if we got a little wind noise here. Cranker harder in.
Yeah, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> your neighbors, <laughs> your neighbors just have to drive home every single day and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like it just keeps getting worse yeah. like you had a burnt out flipped over car here the other yeah. week we took the front end off the truck so we made it worse yeah. and then we took the front end off of a camper which they probably wouldn't have even imagined be a thing that we would like <laughs> could, something that could be who, done who would do that <laughs> yeah <sighs> well but hey no hoa so whatever we did a little running we got some bungee cords uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> uh -uh. no <laughs> nothing what do you got there, bud? Nothing. What's? It's not food. Just get out of here. Is that it? Is that it? You're like making this a thing. The point is, we got. <laughs> we. <laughs> the point is, we got some bungee cords to strap this tower up all around here so that we don't completely soak the inside. It looks beautiful right now. <laughs> But it is supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. So we don't want to ruin this whole thing on the inside since it's so nice. All right. Well, there's our tarp job. It'll probably be gone in a couple days here uh, as soon as there's a good wind. But... Hopefully we just don't get that and it stays on. I mean, what is our, what's our record on tarps of like one lasting, like three days? Three I've to seen five? one last three days before, yeah. Yeah, well, we also do the like free Harbor Freight ones and we duct tape them together. But I just call this guy good. With that, guys, I think we're going to call it a wrap up here. This is part one of the camper rebuild. <sighs> just something different every day here. But uh, I, I'm pretty happy with everything we got done. I think we're going to be, I think it's actually going to be pretty, pretty simple, especially once that, you know, framework is welded or new one made. The rest of it's just kind of reassembly and cover it back up. But I think it'll, I think it'll all work out. We tested everything inside. Everything seems to work. I don't think anything was broken or any issues like that. AC, heat, stove, fridge, all that stuff works. So pretty happy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great night.